Hog Island lies 70 kilometers off the coast of Honduras. Once an important stop for hungry pirates, they were used to breed pigs for meat. Known today as Cayos Cochinos, they form part of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, the second largest coral reef system in the world. Declared a marine reserve in 1994, this protected island supports vast quantities of marine life. As a result of the marine protection on land, the island also support some unique species. On the beach, something is stirring. At only 10 centimeters long, this newly hatched tinosaur will have to grow by 700% to reach their adult size. A journey that will take three years. An adult tinosaur will eat a juvenile. They must try again. They are slow to emerge. Many dangers await them in the outside world. Tinosaurs have large clutches, as many of the young will not make it into adulthood. Others have already emerged. Reptiles are unable to generate their own body heat and have to bask in the sun to warm up. Once warm, they waste no time in finding their first meal. For an animal to grow, it needs a good source of protein. And as well as leaves, young tinosaurs supplement their diet with insects. This could bring them into competition with another island specialist. The blue-headed anolis is found only on these islands and in Cuba. Like the tinosaurs, it also eats insects. But it has another thing on its mind today. A female. Not sure whether she will be receptive to his advances, the male camouflages himself and watches. Happy she's not a threat, he needs to see if she will be receptive. She seems interested and he makes his move. After mating, the female leaves. The male will keep a close eye on her to ensure no other males mate with her before she lay her eggs. He cannot take chances. Other males wait for an opportunity. Life on an island can be tricky. With restricted space comes restricted resources and food on an island less than a kilometre square in size can be a valuable resource. Mangoes are full of sugar and are highly prized by the tinosaurs. If they can get into them. Sometimes it's easier to steal your food. This young male will have to keep a close eye on his stolen prize. Hungry mouths prowl the beach. Mango 
animals are not native to the Caribbean and were brought here by men. Sticky mango juice does not mix well with a sandy habitat. Tinosaurs will face competition with each other throughout their lives. Perhaps the most common examples are territorial disputes. Like the juveniles, however, they need to warm up first. Adults have large dewlaps, a fold of skin beneath the neck, which they use for communication. By rubbing their heads, their dewlap wobbles, and rivals judge their competitors by the size of his dewlap. This male has a particularly good display, and has warned off not one, but two rivals. He maintains his territory for now. It's not just lizards that have evolved uniquely on these islands. The boa constructors found here are paler and not as big as those on the mainland, although they retain a darker colouring on their tail. This female is after a meal. Whilst an adult dinosaur will make an excellent meal for a mainland boa, they are a little too big for the boas on Cayos Cochinos and can prove to be quite elusive too. Mammals are not present on the islands and reptiles are not as nutritious to eat as mammals. It is believed this is the reason for the smaller body size in the island's boas. Just as animals can adapt to changes in their environment, some changes can be detrimental. The green iguana is much larger than the tinosaurs and competes directly with them for food. It's not known whether iguanas naturally occur in Cayos Cochinos, but recent studies have shown their populations to be increasing. Human pressures on the island are also detrimental to several species. Both iguanas and tinosaurs are hunted for meat. Green iguanas, although bigger, have formidable claws and thick armament. And so as a result, tinosaurs are their preferred food. Due to their more manageable size and docile temperament, the rare hog island boas are highly sought after in the pet trade. Fortunately, the marine protection awarded to the park has also helped to protect the terrestrial wildlife too. Scientists are conducting research on the endangered tinosaurs and how they interact with the green iguanas. Through education, scientists hope that the threats to these species can be reduced. And ensure the survival of these charismatic and unique creatures. Thank you.